Good morning, my name is Chris Barrett. I'm actually with AP Systems. I'm going to quick, do a quick demo of the AP Systems uh, EMA and ECU. You can, jump in, you can move in just a little bit if you'd like to see. What I'm going to demonstrate here this morning is basically the energy monitoring system we have. Logging in is easy. We have two different logins. We have one for the customer level, one for the installer level. When entering the website, you're going to go to a dashboard, a splash page, which gives you an opportunity to look at your, your production for the day, the week, the month, the year, or lifetime of your entire system. Uh, one easy, convenient place. Uh, and gives you some basic information about the site, where it's located. Uh, you can actually go through and click and look at weekly production. Uh, and you can see the speed of the system. It's fairly quickly. quickly. Uh, look at a month at a time. Uh, oh, also the year time. This, this site was just installed uh, this year, as you can see here. What we can also do on the, on the website version on the EMA is go into uh, module performance. So you'll be able to see exactly where each module is located on the roof and the power, current power of production where it's at. The nice feature that we have here also is to be able, be able to go back out and look at the day's production and see every single module performance during that period of time. I like to call that the play the movie feature, where you can see the morning. As the morning comes up, the morning sun comes up, every panel is coming alive and how much power it seems producing. This is a nice, this is a nice tool uh, for a customer to see, but also a good troubleshooting tool as well. If a customer is complaining about an issue, it's easy to highlight the issue quickly and then also troubleshoot that. It's interesting, you can see it's so sensitive, you can actually see when clouds go over. Uh, we also have the same information on the mobile apps. Uh, it works for iOS, uh, Android, and also Blackberry. It's important. The other feature I want to talk about, so this, this is all great, so, but how do you get that information into the system? So from an installer's perspective, what's the, what's the easiest way? Um, you can do it two different ways. We have what's really through the EMA, so you can log into your website as an installer, install and create a system right on the EMA, or you can actually log into the ECU. So I'm con I'm right now I'm connected to this mobile broadband router, to this, to my computer. I can actually click over here to this site. So what I'm looking at right now is the mobile web interface to this device. Just some basic information about the device, what's going on. It's kind of, it very much looks like the EMA. We tried to mirror that as, as close as possible. For customers that may not have internet access, they can still see their system locally on their computer, on their network. To add the serial numbers, we come over here to what we call ID management. And ID management is simple. All we would do is take a scanner and be able to scan the barcodes from the serial numbers of the inverters. Serial numbers are entered and then we can update the system. And we get a confirmation of the update. It gets pushed down to the ECU, ECU EMA, everything gets married together all in one place. So it's very speed, fast and very quick and no more entering fingers. And we, uh, we also offer a, what's called all the Array app, which allows you to do it on your smartphone as well, which I have uh, here. So it's just a, it's a called the Array app. You log in with your user and information, and you can scan it with your camera on your smartphone. So multiple ways to do the same thing.